Good morning, Griffins. On today's show, we will be spotlighting Sickle's own Mr. Shelton, getting a first look at our theater's current production, recommending some of our crew's top new Netflix releases, and checking in on the culinary program. I'm Alexis Tran. And I'm Anya Mather, and the legend starts right now. To start, FFA student Nick Hammer exhibited his dairy cattle and won Grand Champion Senior Showmanship, Reserve Junior Champion Arshire, and Reserve Grand Champion Holstein. Nick also exhibited his market turkey, which was sold at the live auction for $500. His turkey was purchased by Sheriff Chad Cronister. Congrats, Nick. Along with outstanding students, Sigils has plenty of outstanding teachers as well. The combination of e-learning and brick and mortar students in classes has brought a multitude of problems for teachers to try and overcome. Luckily for Sickles, Mr. Shelton has found a way to maintain a balance. Megan Sullivan has the story. Motion is distinct from trans- Balancing hybrid classes is not an easy task for teachers and demands much more creativity when it comes to designing lesson plans. However, AP Physics teacher Mr. Shelton has overcome this challenge establishing an inclusive learning environment, whether students are on site or virtually at school. I want to make my in-class students and my students that are at home feel as though they're getting the same experience or as close to it as possible. So in order to do that, I am teaching behind a green screen where I have a camera that is placing me in front of a virtual board and sent out to the students who are both at home and it gets put on the projectors. It feels way more um, connective. Some of my other classes, um just have the camera in a fixed position and just to talk to the class, but we're just kind of left just sitting there. It's way more interactive and it really helps me um, learn better. Physics is hard and not everybody gets it the first time. So you have to have an opportunity to try and do tutoring. I have morning times that are just for e-learners and morning times that are just for face-to-face. And, you know, just even I've got a lot of you know, students who aren't my own who are coming for tutoring. Um, I think that his tutorings like make me like understand the general concept of the things and will like help me grasp my learning on like like my quizzes like the quiz for tomorrow or like you know there is this unintentional separation that we can't do anything about that we are really forced to to confront in a way that is unprecedented so i would hope they would find a way to help merge it together to bring those e-learners into feeling like they are still part of the sickles family Reporting for The Legend, I'm Megan Sullivan. All across the nation, theater students are becoming antsy in anticipation for their fall play. Sickles is not the exception. Our theater department is working around our current circumstances to create an interesting experience for all. Zoe Boone has the scoop. Everyone loves a good murder mystery. The thrill of seeking out clues and seeing through lies, it's an experience like no other. Sickles is putting on a very own this year, a virtual whodunit. It is about a billionaire mogul who um, is invited his whole family into the Zoom call uh, and his lawyer to rewrite his will and everybody thinks they're there for the birthday party. Well, it turns out that he gets murdered uh, by his phone electrocuting himself. Basically, I get murdered by somebody who was on a call and there's a detective trying to figure out who murdered me. The detective interviews everyone in the family and then we find out at the end who the killer is. To accommodate current circumstances, the one act will be hosted and recorded virtually on Zoom. This faces our actors with a unique challenge and opportunity. We, we've rehearsed a lot and we still have some more to rehearse and I think that even though it'll be different, it'll still be good with the different things you can do on Zoom. I think that it's definitely going to be different and it's going to take like a lot of acclimating, but I think that in the end we'll be able to pull it off. Even though circumstances may be unfortunate, the show must go on. Please go see a virtual who done it once it's released. For The Legend, I'm Zoe Boone. With the recent conclusion of the presidential election, many firsts were made along with Joe Biden's projected win. For example, Kamala Harris has been elected the nation's first female vice president of African-American and South Asian heritage. Additionally, Joe and Jill Biden's German Shepherd, Major Biden, 
will be the first rescue dog to live in the White House. Keeping on the trend of new things, over the course of the year, Netflix has been constantly updating their catalog for their viewers. Have you been social distancing and found yourself running out of movies to binge? Here's Sanjana Menon with some new Netflix releases that are definitely worth the watch. Netflix has really outdone itself with a record number of movie releases this year. Here are three that I very highly recommend. The first film I wanted to discuss is A Trial of the Chicago 7, directed by Aaron Sorkin. As a person who's extremely passionate about social justice and advocacy myself, this movie truly resonated with me and showed relevance to our society's highly political climate and the generations of people out on the streets exercising their right to protest. With the star-packed cast, including Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Eddie Redmayne, The Trial of the Chicago 7 is the perfect film for anyone looking to feel empowered. Next up, we have Blackpink, Light Up the Sky, a documentary directed by Caroline Sue, telling the story of world-renowned K-pop girl group Blackpink. Even if you're not a K-pop listener, I still highly recommend watching to get an inside perspective of just how much hard work and raw talent it takes to make it big in the Korean music industry. Lastly, we have the Netflix original film, His House, directed by Remy Weeks. The film tells a story of a refugee couple from South Sudan, struggling to adjust to their new life in an English town. What they soon realize is that there's a hidden evil lurking beneath the surface. This film takes a new perspective on the hardships faced by refugees while adding an unexpected, horrifying twist. If you're a fan of supernatural or horror films, His House is definitely the film for you. I hope you get the chance to watch these incredible Netflix releases. For The Legend, I'm Sanjana Menon. Everyone can benefit from having a community which supports them. And for some, it is Sickle's very own culinary program. Here's Harrison Godwin with more. We all sit in the same classroom. We all learn the same things. We all make the same mistakes and we all learn from them. The Sickle's culinary program provides students with the opportunity to learn skills and knowledge relating to the preparation and cooking of food. The class prioritizes hands-on learning and makes an effort to be accommodating to the needs of all its students. Wherever you feel comfortable and you feel can help contribute the most is usually where we fall and we continue to stay there. You know, whether you're a culinary two and you're just getting into things or you're a culinary four or five. An integral part of culinary that goes beyond academics is a sense of community and belonging, a sentiment shared whether you're taking the class in person or virtually. It's given me a place to do something where I feel like I'm good at it and I feel like I'm talented and you know, like, no matter how stressed I get throughout the day, I kind of have a place to go there and just focus on that one thing. What I like the most about it is the camaraderie. Um, you get so close next to these people in this program. We call it our little pillow fam, our culinary family. Um, and you learn, you learn so many different things, not just about cooking, but about life. And you grow really close with these people. And there's just things that you learn in that class that couldn't be offered in any other class. Culinary sells pizza on Wednesday through Friday. So if you're at school in person, you should really consider coming by and helping out this wonderful program. For The Legend, I'm Harrison Godwin. With Tropical Storm Ada adding on to the existing pandemic, it is more important now than ever for you and your families to stay inside and stay safe. Thanks for watching, Griffins. Have a great day and make good choices.